Okay, we uh, sprayed the first panel there, moved it out of the way. I just mixed this stuff up, so I really got to go. I'm just going to set you down over here. If the lens looks screwed up, it's because it already hit the ground. I may have messed the lens up on this thing all together. But I'll try to uh, try to get you somewhere here where you can you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work over here or not, but let me set you here. All right, hang in there, folks.
sometimes don't, folks. As you see the uh, the technique, uh, because this is a gravity feed cup here, uh, let me set this down. Because it's uh, uh, a, just a gravity feed cup, obviously if you just turn it, it'll just drain right, dribble right out, right, at first. Um, so you, you have to tip it and spray it at the same time, hit the air to it at the same time. You start with the uh, the vertical parts because, let's be honest, as it get, as it gets low on fluid, uh, then you turn to a, um, the the horizontal or flat stuff, and the fluid, the the, the smaller amount is going to flow out easier than it would be aiming it this way. So you always start with your your vertical stuff first, and then work onto your flat stuff, and then go back because it, it's always going to give you. A, you know, always want to give you some more here. It's just a naturally more easy thing for gravity to do is go down uh, than go, you know, maybe more across. So um, that's it. It's about the pattern you're looking for. This is a little heavy here. As you can see, it's kind of real smooth. Um, I don't see any spots where it's too thin. Uh, if it was, it would be a real tight, sharp, pointy pattern to the, uh, to the gel itself. Uh, I don't see anything on this one either. This all looks really good. Uh, usually, um, rule of thumb, after doing hundreds and hundreds of these panels over the years, uh, a quart of gel for each one. It actually takes about two-thirds of a quart to do it, but I always go a little bit more um, just to make sure it's covered because if you don't get enough gel on it, when you go to put the glass and the resin on, when uh, when the glass starts to, uh, starts to cure, uh, the heat will sh shrink, shrivel this stuff up. This is really just a surface coat. Um, you can lay the glass and resin right on the mold and it'll pop off, but it won't have that surface coat to it. It'll have little tiny air bubbles all over the place. So uh, this gives you a, a surface coat. And uh, when you wet out the glass, it etches into this stuff, even though it'll be relatively dry to the touch. <clears throat> um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's, that's how, we, how we spray some side panels. Uh, we're gonna cut up the glass and get it ready to go and then go get us a drink of water, get out of these clothes for a little bit. Um, uh, that's it for now. Gotta get the old gel gun cleaned up before it hardens up and uh, we'll bring you some more in a little bit. Over at Rich's house, laying up some side panels today. God bless y'all.